Ladies and gentlemen, what an episode this is going to be because tonight is Cyber Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, this may be the show that helps us beat SmackDown. That's the point that I'm going to be building on this entire video. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been trying to beat SmackDown since the beginning. We have to beat SmackDown here, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, come on now. Like, we've been we've been putting on consistent, extremely consistent shows, and we've been beating SmackDown in the rankings for the past three and a half, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. The entire week, the entire buildup. Uh. Yeah, basically since 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, the entire buildup to this pay-per-view has been better. This is the show that's going to get us to the top. And if it doesn't, well, we are screwed. Ladies and gentlemen, we're playing Rock vs. Cena. Guys... This show, if this show flops, we have screwed up, okay? This show has got to be the show that helps us pass SmackDown in the ring because SmackDown has been kicking our ass, but we have been putting on consistently better shows than SmackDown has been. With our roster, we can do anything that we want have any rivalries that we want because ladies and gentlemen we are Monday Night Raw we are a team we are a group and we will stop at nothing to be the number one brand and the number one general manager on television and we are gonna do Vince McMahon proud we are gonna take this year and we are going to win the GM of the Year Award because we care about our brand and we care about the fans so much. And I think we care about them just a little bit more than SmackDown and ECW. ECW isn't even in the... How do you say it? Like, they're not even in the fray. Like, they're, ECW isn't even... In, in, ECW isn't even in this war anymore. Like... ECW has just been putting on consistently terrible shows that they can't even be included on this war. Like, they can't. Just can't do that. And ladies and gentlemen, us playing The Rock vs. John Cena at Cyber Sunday, a legendary match, once in a lifetime? I mean, this is 2008, so... I think anything is possible. Ladies and gentlemen, John Cena and The Rock. These two are future Hall of Famers. If The Rock isn't already, I'm sure he's not because I don't even think he's retired um, as of the recording of this. But The Rock is most definitely the man, okay? The Rock is the greatest of all time. Well, possibly, arguably the greatest of all time. John Cena has also argued that same way. The Rock and John Cena are what sells tickets. I am putting on a show for the fans. And the fans, you know they'll definitely appreciate it. Put it on a show for the fans, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. Everybody, ugh. I'm just so excited for the Cyber Sunday pay-per-view as The Rock takes on John Cena in a last man standing contest. And here comes John Cena with the strikes. Oh, goodness. I did not actually expect John Cena to do all that oh god oh god he's got a submission all locked in on the rock but the rock is like nah bro we uh we out here winning matches oh oh god <laughs> oh god come on 
What are you doing? Oh my god. Oh my god. John Cena's beating the hell out of The Rock right now. This is... Oh god. Oh, Cena throws us. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh god. Oh, there goes. There. Here comes The Rock. Oh, Rock. Oh, John Cena with a nice counter. I believe this is episode number 22, but I could be wrong. Hopefully it's episode number 22, because that's what I'm going to keep saying. Um... Hopefully it's episode 22. Oh my god. Yeah, Cena is beating the hell out of me right now. Like, I did not I did not even see this coming. Like, I did not expect for John Cena to be beating the hell out of me right now. I'm usually so good at these uh, matches. But John Cena is, like, on top of his game right now. John Cena. Oh! Look at The Rock. Oh, nice DDT from The Rock. Rock going to the outside. Oh, The Rock's going to grab a weapon. Ladies and gentlemen, this is last man standing. Anything goes. Oh! These guys are putting it all on the line for your entertainment. Oh, nope, John Cena. Nope. Oh, there's a nice DDT. Oh! He's going to put it down. Cena getting back to his feet. Oh, you're lucky you got back to your feet because who knows what The Rock was just about to do to your ass. Oh my god. I bet you guys kind of saw it coming too, but uh, Cena didn't let that happen. And Cena's not letting anything happen, actually. Oh! John Cena's trying to do a really good job here at, uh, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Get off of him. Nope. Rock picking up the weapon again. Oh, nope, this is that one. Oh, almost nailed it. Almost nailed Cena. Oh, nail Cena this time. Oh! Oh, hits him in the back. Hits him in the back. Cena back to his feet. Atomic drop. Atomic drop to Cena. Can we, like... Oh, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? The Rock! Rock bottom to John Cena! Oh, my God. That's the most epic rock bottom I've ever seen. Oh, my God. Cena's hurt. Cena. It, no! Rock says no! We're not ending it like that! This last man standing match is not over! Until he says it's over! Oh, a DDT! Oh my goodness! Ooh, the Rock! Oh. I don't know, man. Cena's hurting, but, uh. The ref's not counting! Okay, well, it looks like no weapons for me. The ref's not counting at all. Oh, Cena back to his feet. Arm drag. Arm drag by The Rock. Oh, there's a DDT. Oh, The Rock. He's going for it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my damn. The Rock. Oh, people's elbow. The people's elbow. Cena's down and out. Three. Oh my gosh, the Rock's just taunting him. The Rock's just taunting John Cena. Six. Six, seven, eight, nine. The Rock picks him up. Oh, John Cena. Oh, what's this? Oh, striking him. The Rock's trying to give the fans the money that they deserve. Oh, Cena! Oh, Cena's too hurt. Cena's way too hurt for this. Oh, my God! Here's another, another Rock bottom to John Cena. Wow. Another Rock bottom to John Cena. That's it. The Rock Eight. has absolutely decimated John Cena tonight here in this last man standing contest. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, Cyber Sunday gets a full card.
Like an entire card, ladies and gentlemen. We have an actual full match card of this. Ladies and gentlemen, The Rock is going to celebrate his victory against John Cena. What a victory for The Rock here tonight at Cyber Sunday as we're giving you guys the best action possible with the best rivalries. Even some different and unique ones like the one with Sandman. We're going to hit Simulate All. Ladies and gentlemen, Edge and Rey Mysterio still remain your tag team champions, defeating The Undertaker and Kane, undercoming all the odds. The Rock beats John Cena. Orton beating Mick Foley in tables, ladders, and chairs. CM Punk keeping his championship this time against the Sandman. Triple H, even if we put the title on the line, Triple H still would have won. And Triple H remains champion. Ladies and gentlemen, five-star pay-per-view and oh my god did you see that raw fan change guys i think we did it <laughs> vince mcmahon is just spamming us with wow you you're, you're absolutely crazy oh my god i can't believe you did that expecting extreme ending my extremists never say die and no one to quit so we won't we'll be in your face in your ring and your nightmares for the rest of your season. So watch out. I intend to manage ECW to victory unless I'm going to be general manager of the year. You are not even close in the thing. So look at this. Every single match receiving five stars. Guys, what's left to do? Check the fan support. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh oh my god! Oh oh my god! God! Oh my god! We did it, ladies and gentlemen. Raw is officially number one. Oh my god! God, guys! Oh my god! Raw has the most. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, guys! They said CM Punk had the best match of the night. I, oh my God, I, we did it. We, we only have 4.8 million bucks though. We, 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 we overcame all the odds here. Oh, they want Cena and The Rock to continue. Um, I don't know when our next pay-per-view is. Oh, I think it's actually the Dual Brandon Survivor Series. I think we have a Dual Brandon pay-per-view coming up next. It's Survivor Series. Yeah. But guys, we just put on a five-star pay-per-view. We gained the support of the fans. Finally. Finally. We can delete this feud now. We don't need it. Um, let me just double-check something. Yep, Triple H is champion, Punk, Edge and Mysterio. Uh, we can mess around with the rivalries a little bit. Oh, we only have three weeks until Survivor Series. Um, again, good for mostly everything here. Uh, let's let's do Hungry Challenger. Actually, no. Let's make the main championship feud a loser leaves the brand. Um, so basically, Triple H versus, uh, who can we choose? Triple H versus Shawn Michaels, Survivor Series? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, Intercontinental Championship, CM Punk is the Intercontinental Champion. CM Punk versus The Undertaker. Intercontinental title feud. We don't even need that many rivalries, but we're going to do it anyway. Um, we need a tag team rivalry. Doesn't really matter what we do. No respect again, I guess. Ray Edge versus. Uh, let's see. Um. Not much else we can choose from. Let's just go with... Uh, 
I want to say Sabu and uh, Sandman. You know what? Why? Why not? Why not? ECW guys versus WWE guys. ECW guys on our brand. I mean, come on. That we have to do that. Uh, greatest of all time. All right, heels and faces. Steve Austin. The uh, well. I mean, wouldn't that make sense? Yeah, I guess so. Um, we can do. We need a four star rivalry. What? What about? Okay. Cheating girlfriend. David versus Goliath. Uh, we don't have any small guys. We don't have any small dirty guys. Oh, actually, can this be considered David? Yes, it can. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our five rivalries. Uh, and looks like we're going to be ready to take on SmackDown. Hulk Hogan is, oh, Hulk Hogan is left. <laughs> uh, we can get Hulk Hogan for a year and he'd be bought for less than $400,000. That would not be real life. Okay. But guys, we did it. But the series has to continue until WrestleMania, so we're gonna we're gonna have to maintain this whole thing. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see Hold you on! Stop! Before you do anything, you gotta check out the Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. It's pretty freaking cool. Nick Inspo is on everything because I'm not an idiot. So Nick Inspo, follow me everywhere. I'm interactive on everything and I'm active on everything. So check me out.